Hi everybody. Let's see. It's Sunday and I've really taken the plunge here and did a lot of experimentation on pots with new glazes. So I thought I'd better get it first of all down on paper, which I did, and then on video so that I remember exactly what I did in the event something comes out beautiful. <laughs> okay, so first of all I did some testers. <clears throat> I did um, Peacock over Fern Mist. They're both Laguna Moroccan Sand. And then Fern, Fern Mist over Peacock. I did Chambray over Smoked Sienna. Chambray is Standard Ceramic Supply and Smoked Sienna is a new color from Potter's Choice. I did Celadon over Peacock and Peacock over Celadon. Peacock is Laguna Moroccan Sand and Celadon is Standard Ceramic Supply. I did Smoked Sienna over Chambray. Smoked Sienna, again, Potter's Choice, new color. Chambray, Standard Ceramic Supply. And then Sea Mist, Standard Ceramic Supply, over Peacock, Laguna Moroccan Sand. So just right there in those seven testers, I have some really new, interesting combinations that I can't wait to see. Okay, this um, plate with the attached bowl is in Chun Plum, and that's a Potter's Choice glaze. I dipped the whole thing into the bucket once, and then I dipped the rim of the little bowl in the center a second time. <clears throat> These four cups, I have to read from my piece of paper, um, the first thing I did was dip it from the bottom in, in smoked sienna, and then the inside was also smoked sienna, and then I dipped the rim in sea mist. Smoked Sienna is Potter's Choice, and Sea Mist, Mist is Standard Ceramic Supply. And then I did the opposite. I filled the inside with Sea Mist and dipped it in from the bottom, and then dipped the rim in Smoked Sienna. Then I did one with Chino, dipped from the bottom in, and then Smoked Sienna on the rim. That would be that one. And then I did Chino, dip, dipped it in from the bottom down in, and then put Chino on the inside, and then put Chung Red on the rim. So the two in the back are just opposites of each other using sea mist and the new one smoked sienna and then these are some separate experiments for these two I did um, first fern mist by dipping it in from the bottom up, and then I filled the inside with celadon and dipped it from the rim down in celadon. So I'm hoping for the tricolor. And then the other one I did just the opposite. I dipped it in celadon, filled the inside with fern mist, and dipped it into fern mist. Now, fern mist is a Laguna Moroccan sand, and celadon is standard ceramic supply. <laughs> This is going to be great when these come out, or a disaster. I don't know which. Okay, the two mugs in the back 
first thing I did was put a little black glaze on the shark's teeth on the thumb rest and then for both of those I dipped the entire mug in sea mist and then just dipped the rim into celadon. Both the sea mist and the celadon are standard ceramic. And then for the other two, I dipped again the entire mug in sea mist and then I dipped just the rim in smoked sienna. That's the new one from Potter's Choice. These other five testers are just um, smoked sienna and chung plum. plum. One dip, two dips, three dips. The chung plum obviously couldn't take three dips. It would have been too much. And then I did a fish plate. I started with sea mist. Then I poured the new color, smoked sienna. And then I poured the new color, chun plum. So we're going to go from a purpley red to a foamy sienna to a sea mist green, I hope. And then my two salsa servers, I took a big leap of faith and I dipped them in smoked sienna, the new Potter's Choice color, with a second dip on the rim. Hopefully I'll get a little pull in the color. And then my three-piece serving set, which I don't know if I ever showed anybody or not. It's just um, rolled on the slab roller with beautiful texture on the back. And then I put it into a flat dish, a small bowl, and a small dish. And I figure it would be good for like shrimp, shrimp cocktail sauce, and then you could put the tails in the other one, or anything that you would need something like that for. So I did one in smoked sienna, and I did one set in fern mist, which I did this on purpose because I've had trouble with fern mist dripping and the such. So I thought in a bowl like this with nothing on the bottom, it would be pretty easy to keep it contained. Phew. <laughs> All these different colors and combinations, it took me all morning to do this, and I cannot wait to see what comes out of the kiln. So, here's the glaze firing before. Give me 48 hours, and we'll come up with the glaze firing after. Thanks for watching.